We are at Cerrone Chevy Buick GMC in South Attleboro this morning. They have a great deal this month on like new Chevy Captivas. You can't even buy these brand new. They're made for fleet only. As a program vehicle, they're a great buy. Al Cerrone is with us. You sell a lot of new cars, you sell a lot of used cars, and then there's something that's in the middle. Oh, you must mean the program cars. The program cars. Tell us about what they are, where they come from. Sure, that's near and dear to my heart. We've been selling them for many, many years, what the program car is, and I don't really know exactly how the term came about, but I'll give you my rendition. Sure. Is that in an effort to, to make more vehicles, manufacturers, in my case General Motors, would produce uh, hundreds of thousands of extra vehicles that they sell to the fleets, the rental companies, uh, uh, leasing, whatever. And these cars are used for predetermined amount of time or mileage. Then General Motors, in many cases, buys them back and runs them through auctions that only General Motors dealers are allowed to buy those cars. That way dealers have like exclusivity on the car. But what you get is you get a car that's not brand new, but you don't have a used car. You've got generally a current model year car, like in this case 2014s, with as little as five, six, seven thousand miles on them. And when GM makes them available at the auctions, you yourself go representing Cerrone. Oh, so you pick I do. them out personally. I do. I buy them and I buy each one as if I were buying it for myself. Right. I look them over because I want people, you know, to not only save money when they buy it, but to get a good value. And by that, they're buying a, a pristine, practically brand new car. And John, when I when I say brand new, I mean, when you look inside the car, sometimes like the backseat, it doesn't look like anybody even ever sat in them. Yeah. And then of course you look on the outside of the car and, and it would be difficult to even find a little mark. I yeah. mean, they're used but they're very gently used. Yeah, and I know how fussy you are. You probably see some of them and say, I'm not bringing those to South Attleboro, and you're, you're gonna bring in the best of the best. Exactly, you know, our reputation is at stake, and I, I really want people to come here and say, well, we, we couldn't afford a brand new car, but we saved enough money, and we bought one that's almost new, and almost new meaning they pay maybe 60 to 70 percent of what the original price was, the original window sticker price. Right. Very low mileage, and then they capture the balance of that GM 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, because that goes with the car. So when we see you in your commercials, and for years you've been talking about program Impalas, and now that they have the cruise, you do the same kind of a thing with a program cruise, and now this month you're really uh, stocked up on the Captivas, but, but it's the same thing for all those models, correct? It, it is. Uh, the reason that we're on the Captiva is now is that they're starting to come become available in quantity. And when they do at the auction, supply and demand, the price comes down. That's what gives us the ability to sell it at $16,995. This car originally was $27,000 list price. And these vehicles, 12, 13, 14,000 miles. So let's take a look. Okay. Well, Al, you drive the Captiva right now. What do you like about it? Well, as I said before, when we were sitting down, the, uh, the fact that I can sit up high, I really like. Yeah. You feel like you got a little bit more command of the road. Plus, it gives a comfortable ride. It's not built on a truck platform, so it's a very soft ride, not something you'd expect right. from a truck. Yeah. The gas mileage is, again, important to me because I commute, I'm 100 miles per day, and I don't want to get killed at the gas pump. Front wheel drive, they're great in the snow, and it's got a 19 gallon gas tank, so you've got the ability to go many miles before That's you refill. That's a big refill. tank for a little SUV. It, it sure is. Um, also, the sound system in it is great. I love turning on my favorite radio station, and it's got six speakers, and it also has OnStar. It's got Bluetooth, USB port, auxiliary input jack, and it's got a 12 volt power outlet. Well, John, Besides what you can put on top, inside is, well, you know what? A picture's worth a thousand words. Why don't you open it up and we'll show the okay. folks how much space it's got inside. That's easy. There we go. Okay, 56 cubic feet of cargo space when you lay the back seats down. Yep. And if you put the front seat down, you can put something, I don't know how long, but it's probably seven or eight, nine feet long. Apartment. And you've got the 60-40 split. And if you really want to see how much it holds, then look at our current TV commercial and you'll see just what you can put in this Captiva. 
Al, I have to tell you, they look brand new. I mean, they're beautiful. Well, as a matter of fact, when we buy them, they're almost this clean. But when they're outside, you know, not quite good enough. But we clean them up, put them on the showroom, and if you buy one, pick one outside, it'll look just like this when you take it. $16,995 is a great deal. Yes, they come well equipped. And if you want leather in a sunroof, it's just a little bit more. And we've got all the colors you want. Program Chevy Captivas here at Cerrone's. Can I say it? Absolutely. And you'll be glad you did.